Hi everyone! Welcome to my crazy crafty life and happy Valentine's Day. I'm so excited to show you all of the wonderful finds that I got at Dollar Tree, so let's jump into it. So the first thing that I found very last minute were these hearts. I originally found just the pink, but then I found this one and this one. They're on stakes. They also have the hangers on the top. I want to craft with these. I know it's very last minute, but that's what I got them for. So I may just put them in my stash for next year, um, but still very excited that I found them, even if it was last minute. <laughs> The next thing that I found was this adorable little Easter sign. Welcome to Cottontail Farms with the bead hanger and this cute truck. I love it so, so much. These fender pieces are extra pieces. So cute. And there's the glittery welcome to and Cottontail Farms. All this is glittered. Um, the eggs are not which I love. I love that they did that. I, they left this very, very plain. And it has the shiplap look. I think this is going to look so nice on a wreath. Okay, I then found this photo album. I'm actually thinking of putting some of my daughter's pictures in here. So I just liked that it was plain because you could actually decorate this however you want. I believe, I believe you can can remove those plain sheets. Uh, maybe you can't. Oh no, you can. You can, see? So you could decorate it, um, but I liked this background, so I got this one, and they had other colors, so I thought that was really cool. If you have a Cricut, you can put like a label of what it is, or the date, or what have you. Um, I then found these right on removable index tabs. You get 12 in here. I really, really needed some for work. So I was very excited that I did find these. Um, I have like a whole binder of things that I uh, like reminder things for myself. So I just needed some labels to write on. And I love that. I love these. And they're, it says they're removable. So you can write on them and they're removable. So I thought that was really cool. So good find there. I found these socks. Um, they're like fuzzy socks. And even in March, it does get cold here in New England. So um, kind of matches actually my headband. <laughs> There's a rainbow and some shamrocks. I love that. Um, the rainbow is facing you. There's the ankle part. So it's it looks upside down. But when you're wearing them, you'll be able to see them. So I thought that was unique and different and they are fuzzy and warm socks so I thought that was kind of cool and they are the low ankle ones so I mean I thought that was cool. I then picked up some washi tape. I haven't bought washi tape at Dollar Tree in a while just because I have so much um, but I did find this cute little cactus one. It shows you on the picture too what you're getting and I found this like floral one with little like woodland animals I just thought they were pretty and so I picked them up so so cute <laughs> I picked up these flashcards. it says colors and I like these for crafting um look at this you get like the apple and then the back says like teal and then you get like all the shades and I thought that was so cool so I, I love these. I probably should have got a second set, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I thought these were really cool. Next, I did find some heart scatters. Um, I like the little ones. I thought these were really, really cute. Would look good as little ornaments or, um, you know, table scatter, what have you. Like, there's just probably a ton of things you can do with these. So I picked them up. I then picked up this heart little riser. I just like the plain white one. I think you could use it all year round. Um, you know, it, it would look good in any in any case because I love hearts anyways. So I just picked the white. Um, the pink one's okay. It's not my favorite shade of pink. So I usually pass on it. 
I then picked up these little pink tea lights. They could be tea lights or they could hold the candlesticks, um, depending on which way you put them. I really love these a lot. I love the shade of them. I think they're so, so pretty. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with them um, because I feel like if putting them this way, they'll be flimsy. So either I need to have a base or just use them as candle stick holders. I, I don't know yet. I really don't. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> the next thing that I found was some storage bins. They had so many to choose from, but I picked out some of my favorites, which were these. I love that you get the handle on the side and everything. That's very useful. Um, and then they had these for like notebooks and things like that. I love these. I love the cutouts. I think they're spectacular. They're a little on the thin side, but if you're not putting a ton of things in here or heavy things in here, you should be fine. Last week I showed um, these just yarn chenille yarns, but I my my strawberry, the red, <laughs> was way over there. So I'm gonna show you again. This is the strawberry. Then they have the one that's called Cupid, which is this one. There's the two together. Then they have a lighter pink, which is Candy Heart. And then they had the lightest pink, which is Blossom. So I found all of these. I love these. They might've even had a white option, but I just stuck with these. These are so cute. You could make little tassels, little pom-poms, little embellishments for all kinds of crafts. So I was very excited that I found these. Last week I showed the black and white Buffalo Check garland for Easter, but I they also have pastel colors. This one has carrots and bunnies, and this one just has the bunnies. So depending on which one that you get, you will get um, pastel or black and white. They had, I think the bunnies and the black and white were a different shape altogether. If you saw my last haul, um, you'll see what I mean. So yeah, this is so cool. I love, love these so, so much. So farmhouse. And you, you do not have to keep them like this. You could deconstruct them, put them into your trays, um, you know, hang them differently. It, it's up to you. Then I found this cupcake uh, metal piece and I really think it's adorable so I had to pick it up um I I love this it's so cute I, I think it's adorable so I think it'd make a cute uh magnet for Valentine's Day on the fridge I have a black fridge so this would definitely look cute just um put some puff paints you know where the um embellished parts are and it would look really cute <laughs> Then I found this St. Patrick's decor. It kind of looks like a wreath, which I think is really, really cute. Um, the way they had them hanging up was weird. They kind of had it like this, which I also liked a lot. So I feel like if you wanted to deconstruct this and redo it, you could. Um, lots of options with these. I love it. Um, but you know, this is cute too. So either way, very cute. I also found these flowers and I only picked up the one bundle. Um, I love these. They look very like real-ish to me. I don't know. Carnations that were painted, you know, and they put the glitter on it. So that's very cute. And then you have the gold coins with the shamrocks on it. Um, I just thought that was really cute. I'm just gonna add it to an existing bouquet. So that's why I only got the one bundle. I don't do a ton for St. Patrick's Day, but I've been finding more and more that I really like, so that I'm drawn to and that I really like, so. All right, I also found this home hanger and actually this piece fell off, but that's okay because I may just use it um, like this, you know, somewhere, I don't know, but I loved the little addition of the heart so I wanted to get that. Um, yeah, so I thought that was cute. Next item that I found was something that I really, really wanted to find were these soaps. 
um, this one is called Vanilla Cookies and Luxury Hand Soap. They also had a pumpkin and an apple version, but the only reason I only bought one type was because, well, as you can see, it's kind of watery. And I don't know if you watch Pookie's, re Pookie's reviews or Pookie's views. I don't know. Something like that. Um, check her out. She said that these were very watery and not that good. So I just, I love the jars. In any case, if I really hate them, I can put my own soap in here. Um, but I love this right here. This, So yeah, in any case, I'll probably... If they're that bad, I'll probably just reuse the the bottle and put my own soap in here. But I love this um, this look a lot. So I was very excited that I did find these and bought a few for my stuff. And also, I like to have one for lotion and one for soap. So that's what I might do once these are emptied. I'll just swap it out <laughs> and I'll put my own labels or maybe even try to take these off if I can but they're plastic so um yeah I mean I have glass mason jar ones in my um master bath but these are fine I mean plastic glass it doesn't matter I even wonder if these will fit on the glass I don't know because I already have like cricket labels on the glass ones I don't know so we'll see we'll see what happens but I I was very excited I found these all right the next item I have to show you is this um, what the heck is this called? Mouse pad. <laughs> they had this really adorable unicorn one. They had plain black ones, but this one was hiding underneath all of them. And I was so excited that I found it. It's a little big for at my work, but I think that this will work just fine where my computer is. So I was so excited. I found it. It's so cute. It's got a little heart right there. So pretty. So well done. So I haven't, I've only found this at one store. I haven't found them at any other store, but I was so happy that I went to the store because I was able to find this. I then found this really awesome Starry Night tabletop lamp and they had other ones, but this one is so pretty. And I don't know if you can see that or how well you can see that. Um, but it says color changing. And I'll take it out. It reminds me of those um, acrylic art pieces that you can buy. And they're so expensive. <laughs> so expensive. And this was $1.25. It already comes with the battery. So that's even more exciting. Um, let's see if it works. Hopefully it does. How do you turn it on? Okay, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that or how well you can see that, but that is amazing. <gasps> That's so beautiful. And you could and you could put it either way. So if you had this in a place where um, you can see both sides, that is so cool. You could even personalize or decorate the base if you wanted to. How cute is that? That is very cute. They had some other ones. They had sayings on them. I really didn't like them, but this one I definitely liked a lot. So really pretty. I did have the white. I did get a white one. So this was the other option was just the white. So um, it's really pretty. This I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like ribbon, like a really fine, thin ribbon in a chenille texture. So really, really pretty. I love this. Um, what do they call this color? Lily. So, so pretty. These are gorgeous. If you see them, you should get some. Um, I got this funky looking <laughs> pencil holder. I got it for work. Um, I have a white and black buffalo check but this one's actually bigger so I thought that this would be um, really good to hold all my pens and stuff in so I got that and I used the buffalo I used one of the buffalo check ones for florals so I figured that would like change it up and not have the same exact thing I don't know I'm very quirky sometimes <laughs> so obviously 
this, but yeah. I then found this farmhouse ribbon is what they call it. It's gingham or buffalo check. I would call this a gingham because it's smaller. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to get some of this for crafts. I already have some, but these are like staples for me. I then found this cut bird cutout. I was looking for just the bird. I had found all the other ones. I found the, um, it was detached, but that's okay. I'll glue it back. Um, I found the unicorn, the owl, and the, the, what was the other one? The unicorn, the owl, and the butterfly. And now I found the bird and I absolutely love this. It's so, so cute. This almost reminds me of like Paisley, but oh, so cute. I love this. And then I found a vase that I had never seen before, and I just love the color. I thought this would look amazing in my bathroom. I actually do have this color a little lighter, but I thought that this would look so cute in there. And I love colored glass so much, so I love that. And it's got the little nail heads. And if you didn't like this color, you could paint it. It would look nice too, I think but I'm gonna keep it this color because it's so, so pretty. So I was very excited for this. The next items that I have are some Easter items. I found these carrots. I was so excited to find these. Look how big they are. Um, they had the polka dot, the gingham, the buffalo check. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying, buffalo check, and gingham. They are the same pattern, just one is bigger than the other, at least to my understanding. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the nicest way possible, please. <laughs> um, they have little hangers, but I think I just want to stick them in a bowl or something. I don't know. Uh, or scatter them in different places. I think that would be really cute. Um, and then they had this um, burlap one, and it is. it does have a texture so it feels like burlap I'm not sure if it's actual burlap but it definitely has a texture so I found these so excited these would also be fun to use as a garland or whatever um, but these are so neat I love these I know it doesn't match with my <laughs> with my Valentine's Day decor um, on my on me but <laughs> these are so cute the next thing I found was this little bucket. Normally, I don't buy the buckets anymore because I have so much already. But I loved the carrot one. I wonder how this would look even. This would look absolutely adorable, I think. Um, if you have little ones and you don't want to put out big, scary, dangerous decor that they can hurt themselves or break, this would be an adorable little thing to put out. And, you know, when they're done, they can put it back in the bucket. <laughs> Then I found these very cute um, cosmetic bags, and I just, I really loved this design and this color. I thought these were adorable. Put it in a purse, put all your essentials. Um, it's kind of like a vinyl material, so I don't know what the inside is, though. It's kind of like a belt-ish material so yeah if you spilled stuff it would probably get damaged but you could put like hair ties um you know lip balm things like that that you um, might need tissues uh you know that kind of stuff in here so i thought these were pretty so definitely wanted to hold on to them you could even put them in a gift basket with stuff that matches these Dollar Tree has tons of that stuff. <laughs> um, I found another paper pack and I just, I, oh my gosh, that glitter and that color right there. And then there's a gold and a lavender back there. And there's even like this handmade paper in the back. And then you get like all these. So, so many cool options. I had to get this paper pack. And I love that they're all different. I feel like you'll never get the same exact one ever again. So I love that. It's it's kind of exciting. Um, I also showed some moisturizer 
in this. Um, the last haul I did, I think, from Bolero. And I found the Facial Mist in the Strawberry Seed and Kiwi and the Facial Cleanser. So there's like a whole set. And I was actually very excited because I love all things strawberry. So I got those. And I also found for the summertime some string lights in pineapples. And I thought those would be fun for the summertime. Um, I wish I had strawberries, but I have not ever seen them carry them. I hope maybe this year they will. So we'll see. But in the meantime, I'll have the pineapple ones. So yeah. Um, love pineapple on pizza. So if you also agree, let me know. <laughs> so in this next bag, I have, um, I found this really cute eyeglass pouch. Very summery and cute. I love the pink and the yellow together. It's actually my favorite color combo. So very excited I found this. Um, I picked up some pens, the plain Bic. Found them at Dollar Tree, so I was very excited. I actually found these in the checkout aisle. Um, it says write 90, writes 90% 90 longer, so you get eight of them for $1.25, so I thought that was a pretty decent deal. Um, I also found these butterfly clips, and I picked them up because I also have found this one and I think these look so cute as decor laid out in my bedroom on my dresser and look how cute these are so that's what I'm gonna do with them and this one reminds me of my friend I think it's missing a pearl though I feel like it is but that's all right that's okay it's it's fine <laughs> they were probably gonna fall off anyways so um, but these are so pretty. I love these. This one looks like gems, like stuck together. And then this one has glitter. And it's just so cute. I think scattered around my bedroom um, in different spots. I have florals and things. It looks so, so cute. So I'm excited that I was able to go back and find more of these. Um... I found nails <laughs> and a lot of people have been hauling these nails but I was kind of excited to find these kiss nails um, these are definitely more my style the squared off ones um, so I do like those I may try those and then I found these which this isn't generally my style but I liked them so much I had to get them they're the pretty woman brand and it even comes with the nail glue this was definitely at one time probably more than a dollar 25 they're very long <laughs> so i feel like i may hate these but if i'm going somewhere dressed up or whatever i may put them on i love this style so much um even though <laughs> again they're very long so I don't know how long they'll, they'll last on my fingers because, yeah, that's definitely not something I do. I mean, I work at a computer all day. I just don't see it happening, but you never know. Maybe if I go out on a date with hubby or something, I don't know, maybe. The next thing that I have, I have looked for years at Dollar Tree. I've seen people haul them. I've looked countless like every single day that I go to Dollar Tree I look for this product and I've never found it until today and it is the ice cube tray with the lid never have been able to find this so hopefully it holds up to the hype <laughs> hopefully um yeah I heard that the lid doesn't stay on but I I think it works pretty well and it snaps on pretty well. Maybe they've updated that. It also has this so you can fill it up. So you don't even have to remove the cover to fill it up. So I thought that this, that this was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I think these are pretty cool. So I don't know, comment below. And it looks like it gives you some oversized ones as well. So if you needed big pieces of ice, I guess. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting and nifty. 
Um, yeah, let me know if you've used these, what you think. I have never, ever been able to find them. And I finally, finally did. <laughs> All right, that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. That helps me out so much. If you're new here and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. That also helps me out a great deal. I love and appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.